Dr. Thomas Levy, author of Death by Calcium, joining us. Dr. Levy, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure, sir. Happy to be on. Tell us about your book, Death by Calcium. It's a book that uh, has been a long time in the making. Uh, it actually started over 20 years ago with my work with Dr. Hal Huggins when he pointed out the fact that a lot of people accumulated calcium in their hair and in their body. Actually, though, in the last five years or so, an enormous amount of literature has now appeared, uh, published, that shows excess, which really means supplementation, excess intake of calcium, and high dairy intake, such as a regular ingestion of milk, really puts too much calcium inside your body and actually has toxic effects and shortens the lifespan and really increases the incidence of most diseases. Now, this is going to fly in the face of a lot of advertising that we see, a lot of common wisdom we've seen in the past. But recently, in working on my diet, the people who advise me have told me to move away from dairy. And it's good advice. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of docs are so busy, they don't really have a chance to keep up with the literature as well as they might, because the literature does strongly support what I'm saying. Uh, it, but, however, we are all subject, as I'm sure you realize, to the power of advertising. And the milk industry has been enormously powerful in promoting the health benefits of milk. And calcium supplementation has just been regarded without qualification as something that just has to be good for you. And, in fact, I want everybody to understand calcium is absolutely essential in your body. You can't live without it. But you only need outside of the bones, a very, a very small amount of it. And when you go above that small amount, you start depositing calcium in your tissues, you start getting increased calcium inside your cells, and this, and I'm not trying to be an alarmist, this is a primary mechanism by which cells become malignant, is when you get too much calcium inside them. It's a serious concern, and like you mentioned, the advertising is absolutely huge in support of milk, but not only that, but it comes from something that's even more ingrained with us, because when I grew up, milk equaled health. Cow milk equaled yeah, health. Yes. Absolutely, milk equals health, and part of the confusion comes from the fact that uh, milk that's not been tainted with hormones and has been raised properly and not had a lot of changes with it has a lot of nutritional value and there's no getting around that the point is is we now know that there's also a clear downside to it so it really is fine to use dairy products in moderation but just don't become a heavy milk drinker as a beverage and completely avoid calcium supplementation. People with osteoporosis for sure have too little calcium in their bones, but because they have that too little calcium in their bones, they really release the calcium chronically into the other parts of the body where it overloads it. And so the osteoporosis condition puts too much calcium already outside of the bones, and then when you start supplementing and taking in more calcium, you make this problem worse. We've got Dr. Thomas Levy with us. He's the author of Death by Calcium, Proof of the Toxic Effects of Dairy and Calcium Supplements, talking about things that are very important for us to know. And I know there's great news here, Dr. Levy, because I know that the world supplies us with such amazing sources of food and nutrition that come from all parts of the globe that I know that we can find something else that will give us the proper balance of calcium, right? Oh, there's no question. As far as calcium intake goes, your best way of having the appropriate amount of calcium come into your body is by having a balanced diet without, I emphasize, an emphasis on dairy and maintaining a normal vitamin D blood level. This is discussed in the book. It's 50 to 80 nanogram per cc, and you do need a blood check for it. But when you supplement the right amount of vitamin D3, you take in from your diet the amount of calcium that you need. Then when you combine that with other things that work into the bones and start making healthy bone, like magnesium, like vitamin C, like vitamin K, all of these things, C, K, magnesium and vitamin D, believe it or not, as individual nutrients are associated with decreased all-cause mortality. So, so how, how much better can you go than to supplement and take things which by themselves 
decrease your chances of dying from anything. And one of the reasons they decrease your chances of dying from anything is because they play a critical role in normalizing calcium metabolism inside your cells. So I know there's a lot of ways to health. I think that balance is probably one of the best ones. Would you agree, doctor? Absolutely. And for people who are groaning about dairy, I'm not saying stop your dairy. I am saying absolutely, number one, stop your calcium supplements. And number two, take the other supplements that we're talking about. And number three, enjoy your dairy on a limited basis. You know, cheese and yogurt have a lot of calcium too, but very few people eat the amount of cheese and calcium that a dedicated milk drinker would take in in volume of milk. So you can enjoy your cheese, you can enjoy your dairy. Interestingly enough, you can enjoy butter, sour cream, and heavy whipping cream because that's the fatty part of milk, which doesn't have that much calcium. And it's a delicious so, part, too. And it's, it's delicious, <laughs> and if you don't have calorie concerns, you can indulge those things pretty much as much as you want. Beautiful. Dr. Levy, author of Death by Calcium, Proof of the Toxic Effects of Dairy and Calcium Supplements. Deathbycalcium.com is the website. Dr. Levy, we appreciate your time. All right. Thank you for having me on.